Ah, and I can't, I can't do this. I, I can't do this game. I can't drive. I suck. You know why? Because I've been in Australia, wrong side of the road. Ow, my dick. <laughs> You ran out of time, loser. So why don't you kill me? So I'm a head of dog. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Bye, 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 shot. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? What is going to happen, everybody? Nolan or Troy Baker. Retro replay. Yeah, I'm, Starting out with a little Beck tune. It's weird, though, because I'm like... Is that the earliest we've ever Drew's ever gone to a clip? Maybe. Oh gosh. Like hey, uh, so uh, we are we're, we're putting the driving gloves on. Do you wear gloves when you're driving? Always. Driving gloves? I always wanted to do that. I feel I'm like I had to, like a gloves. British racing car to do that. Like, I'm going driving today. I wear ski mittens. <laughs> mittens? No. Yes! <laughs> I mean, come on! I felt like... That's like, the earliest we've gotten to Mittens as well. You, this is weird. And we're actually already into the gameplay, too. I I did... We're not into the gameplay, though. I feel like you should... Hold on. I've actually... I've, Why I'm, are you... I'm starting with a note. weird. I should have that hat on, too. So here's the deal. Uh, we're playing Driver. Uh, 1999. We're going to... 1999. Bands. <laughs> Uh, it's placed in 1999 driver uh, and and the toughest part about this is you have to do this tutorial before you can even get to gameplay I'm and reading this up. I can't get through it they they base this on the movie the driver where Ryan O'Neill has to like prove his abilities before you'll they'll be hired Maybe woof I'll give you a call when I need a ride. Well, and, like I did the slalom I the only one I can't like the 180 is the I'm gonna do this one more time and then well, we're gonna but, but the one, we, you're doing a 180. I'm backing you up Am here. I, I thought I did a 180, and what happened is, I think our math is wrong, because something's, okay, so, oh, you just got speed and brake test, and now you got the wall test, no, okay, you got it. <laughs> is that a revert? That's a reverse 177. What is that? I, I don't, I don't know what is happening. That looks like a 180. I, I don't know what is going to happen. Oh, I'm so close. It, that's a 180, dude. That is absolutely a 180. I, I would say so. I just do a 360, just just burn it around in a circle. All right, that one. Yep, there's a 360. So can you just do half that? This is like Ryan O'Neill had his work cut out for him, bro. <laughs> Ryan O'Neill had a steering wheel, which is far easier than this ridiculous PlayStation. Whatever happened to Ryan O'Neill? I can't, like I like can't, love can't. story, right? Yeah, he he. Uh... True love means never having to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Ali McGraw. Ali McGraw, bro. McGraw, bro. Ali McGraw, bro. David did a Huge. story of her life. Angie Harmon. Um, secret cameo. He was actually a student at Harvard where they shot Love Story, and he makes an appearance in there as Ryan O'Neill's. Get this away from me. Uh, I want the papers. Uh, get the papers, get the papers. Get the papers, get the, get the papers. papers. I need the papers. And Jimmy two times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like... I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. He plays the the roommate of Ryan O'Neill, Tommy Lee Jones. Very and young. It, was that when he was... That's when he was at Harvard. It was at Harvard. He was, a, he was an English major. And dude, who, do you know who his roommate was? For real? At Harvard? Who is he? <clears throat> Seriously, do you know? Robin Williams? Al Gore. Wow, that must have been like the most... Boring. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. Me too. I don't see them being like, let's party, like Al Gore going, no. woo, toga, toga. No, just be like, I'm bored. Me too. Let's make out. <laughs> <laughs> Al Gore and... Tommy Lee Joe making out in this weird, what are you strange, <laughs> heterosexual uh. kissing with his crying and this confusion. <laughs> and and there's, there's probably... I don't know. A lot of words, because like Tommy Lee Jones is a wordsmith. He's a very loquacious man. Loquacious. He just loquacious. He just did that. My favorite use of that, that word is in um, uh, total blank. Help my face. Look at my face, and the answer is going to come to me now. Uh, Road to El Dorado. 
Let your sword do the talking. I will. It will be loquacious to a fault. And he made that word up, or he made that line up on the Kevin Klein, like in the behind the scenes, breaks up. Am I boring you? I'm sorry. Sorry, you said El Dorado, and I think everybody knew what I was thinking. Oh, man. Whoa. That, uh, Road to El Dorado was a good one. It's a great I one. I don't think Sinbad did as well. No, Kevin Klein also, like, like, there's a sexual encounter in there. She comes up, she's like, Disney, like that's she, right. In the Disney, she yeah. gives like a hand job. It was, it was a dream Whoa. Works. Whoa. I, I, something happens because she comes up behind him Wait, and he goes, oh. Huh. He like make, <laughs> makes his face. She like goes down on him or something. It's the weirdest thing because he comes back That's in the room. That's probably the prostate check. No. <laughs> she, like there, that, uh, he comes in like surprises her and she like, her head comes up. It's, it's the, I was like, damn really? the whole thing. I'm, I'm dead serious. <clears throat> Are you sure you're just not tired? Oh, my lord. <gasps> this is our second driving Oh, yeah, you want to talk about the first one? Yeah. <laughs> sweep, sweep, sweep. I'm really not a fan of clowns. I think a lot of people don't get that. I'm like, right. it's not a joke. I'm going to be sensitive not, to that. Not clowns. I'm going to be mean, sensitive to that, and I'm going to make sure Especially that. this one. Ugh. Like Whoa. Stephen King's It, like, you know. Ooh. Hooray, clowns. We, you know what? I, I, I want to get into this because... Oh, I had a You car. are... I've driven with you. You're actually a very good driver. This is not representing you well. Ah! Uh, no, I can do 360s, but I want to get this 180. That's all I want to do. <laughs> makes, co makes coffee like soup. Drew. Drew! Drew, will you please get us past this? This will feel a little weird. That's why we have a Drew. Yeah, no. I got it. <laughs> you huh? What? I did it. Sure you Woo. did. Sure, that was so, you beat oh, the sweat. I know, right? Perspiring off All of right. picking and up the controller since where, I where Drew left off. So deftly got through the tutorial. Mm. Shall you continue? Continue. Well, you continue whilst I read the <gasps> plot. A nipid detective has gone undercover due to his unmatched driving skills, not yours. Gained from his time as a race car driver. I, I'm so tired, I actually went, what does nipid mean? <laughs> NYPD, right? NYPD. Okay, sorry. You know what, I read <laughs> Just for those following along at home. His mission is to gain the confidence of a crime syndicate's, of a crime syndicate's bosses. By performing increasingly difficult driving missions such as stopping or following another car, smashing through restaurants, terrible, delivering a stolen car, or scaring a taxi customer. That's super easy to do. Tanner's undercover work begins with him having to impress to some very lowly gangsters in a parking garage. That wasn't difficult at all. He has to prove that he can do jobs for them by demonstrating his skills while keeping the car intact. After impressing the gangsters, which you did not, Tanner is guaranteed a phone call. He is now you their wheel man. Replay current message. It's us. So listen. We want to use you on a bank job. No hassles. Should be real sleepy. You want in? Should be real uh, sleepy. <laughs> Should be you want real in? sleepy. Do you want in? No. <laughs> I, I, I'll pass, thank you. I'm, you know, I love... Listen to the voiceover. This is 99. This is before, you know, we really... Like anybody that we would know. 99. It's... 99? This is 99 calling 86. His yeah. name was 86, which is a joke. Right. Because if you go to a restaurant... You're 86th. Right. I did not know that, by the way. What, 86? I did. I know what it means in a restaurant. I never made that connection. It's 82 to 86. I know. I never... And she was I 99. Never... I never made nine. that connection. Because she was a nine. What a 10. She By the way, nine. Agent 99. What is it? There's a thing. We need to play a lottery. Drew, go get a lottery ticket. Why? 1999 with the Prince. 99. This number keeps coming up. Oh, my God. Wayne Gretzky. Somebody call Wayne Gretzky. 99. Double nines. Why do we need to buy a lottery ticket just because you keep on finding uses of the <laughs> number just 99? The number nine is hitting me left and right right now. Very lucky number. Number <laughs> nine. Very lucky number. 99. I'm shrimp with broccoli. You know, four is an unlucky number. In Asian cultures, it is. And four. Is Chinese. Thank God I'm not Chinese because it's my lucky number. 
or it's one of my favorites. Seriously. Why? I don't know. Seven's mine, but that's like kind of like a go-to. I remember as a kid, there was a third baseman for the Boston Red Sox, Butch Hobson. He was number four. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I was a kid. I had a four. I just, I just saw Butch. <laughs> I got a really funny image. I can think about how he's going to do it. It's just going to be this delicate whoop as soon as, as soon as he said his name, and it made me laugh. I love because now we can kind of see what the show looks like. Yeah. And so I kind of can visualize it, but I literally visualize that happening like in real space. In real time. In front of you as you said that. You, like, you, you're amazing. You can like see the graphics. You, I you can. Know, you know, like watch this. You Ready? see vapors. Watch, right now. watch his hands. Ready? Wow, look at here, bang, zoom, Bush Hobson, number four. I make that happen. That's amazing. Yeah, it's I'm the starting only to trick that I have time. at parties that's really weird. It's like, do you have a trick? It's like, I can do one trick. Stand here, <laughs> and I'll do Christopher Walken. Mm. And I do that, and then he leaves, and then they leave, and they go call someone. Um, uh, accept mission. You go for it. Let's say, because it's, he Thumbs says, up. it's a sleepy mission. It's a sleepy mission. <sighs> okay, the game was designed to mimic 1960s and 70s car chase films, which sets us up for the first question. Greatest car chase, go. French Connection. Ooh. That's a classic, it's the best one, and it was like... Uh, Gene Hackman, man. There was, and there's no... CGI involved, there's nothing no, they, they can No, they drove do. that. I mean, I know Fast and Furious, I mean, it was amazing no. car stuff, but those like, are car stunts. That chase was ridiculous. I would either go, the only one to top that one for me, or, or at least be able to run side by side with it, would be uh, Ronin. Car chase Ooh, and Ronin. It's a good idea. I don't remember where I'm going. You, uh, do you uh, a little mini map. Your bank job. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's my bad. Uh oh, damn. This is like one of the. First oh, I don't want to hit anybody. Uh, this is like before Hold on. GTA and all that, and it's open worldish. Holy crap! I'm just loot. I. Oh me. Oh my god! What is going on? What? Something's really weird now. Get up! It was so much easier when I was playing as Drew. Oh, oh, we just went to a red light. So that's what you shouldn't do. It's like, hey, thanks for helping us rob this bank, but we saw you got a ticket. You're out of here, pal. Your insurance is gonna go down. Nine seconds to get there, I doubt it's gonna happen. There's a little blippies. A little blip on your mini-map. Red blips on your mini-map. Uh, that's where you want to go. Do you see the red, like the red blips? Nuts. I, I do, I, I, on the, the red map. red blips on your mini-map. I know, I'm just... I'm a little lost. Red blips on your mini map. That's what you want to shoot. They are red blips on your mini map. Come on, on you know what to do. Too late, mission failed. Mm. So, what's gonna happen? You know, try again. I, I didn't see the red blips. I'm gonna but try again. Don't succeed. I'm gonna try again, not as Drew. Pick yourself up and try again, try again. First you don't succeed. You know, that's that's I think what the succeed. message of the show is. Pick yourself up and try. Everyone's gonna fail. Me, occasionally. Occasionally. And um hmm? I think it's I think it's a good thing. Get to the bank. Okay. Hang a right. Hang a right? Yeah. Oh, you see the little thing? Keep going. And just go all the way down there. Look at your little uh, go to the oh, right. No, I gotta go right. Sorry. Now to the left. Sorry. Now left. Oh shit. I didn't. I didn't see the Jersey barrier. The Jersey barrier. Ah doing. shoot. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I have a place to go. And the the bigger streets are your uh, major thoroughfare. Take a left. God bless America. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I'm just. This is tiresome. I'm tiresome. You see what I'm talking about? Like the big streets are like the big major thoroughfares. You want to take a right in four seconds. I see. So there's a <clears throat> there's a red blip on your mini map. See, but I do you see it? Yeah. You see it there right now. Yeah. Where is it on the map? I don't think I can see. I think I'm going blind. 
I think I've been blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a deuce. Wrapped up like a deuce. Wrapped up? Like a deuce. Revved up like a deuce. Revved up. Not wrapped up like a douche. Um, a lot of people say. I know, but I say wrapped up like a deuce. It's revved up. Because one time, the toilet wouldn't flush. I was at a girl's house. I had to wrap up the deuce. No. I did. That's a true story. <laughs> one of the first to a true story. <laughs> Is it really? What did you do with it? Where did it go? Out the window? <laughs> Not even Barbara, get in here. One of your friends is tossing dukes out the window of the bathroom. <laughs> I had to. I, I really liked her, and, and I didn't want her to find out, and it wouldn't flush. Oh, yeah. The toilet was broken. I won't go to the bathroom. Like, I, I, only in the last it's recent a, years will I go in, like, public restrooms. Oh. You were, like, it's uh, like getting terrifying. ready for a date, and then you decided... No, it's no date. It was, like, I was a kid. I was a little kid. I had a crush on this girl, and I had, like, a play date at her house. And, uh, well, nature called. And I had to answer that call. It, and, uh, but then the toilet wouldn't flush. And I didn't know what to do, so I did you scoop it up by hand? Right by hand, wrapped it in a bunch of toilet paper. Oh yeah. And then where did it go? <laughs> I still have it. <laughs> no, no, no. You put like it in the trash, didn't you? I, I thought about so putting it in the trash, and I was like, somebody might smell it. So I came back and I opened the window and threw it out in their yard. I can only hope the dog ate it. I have no idea. <laughs> it happened to me, though. <laughs> You're how old? Oh, I was just a kid. I was like 29. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was probably eight, seven, eight years old. I just, I'm thinking I about... I washed my hands I after. I'm I was thinking like, about, nope, I'm, not going to handle this embarrassment. The entire Wrapped play. it up like a mummy. <laughs> I'm thinking about the entire play just like... But like happening in front of you, like something like every bit of panic and fear, and the fact that at like eight years old, you had it was just the, one piece. It was one piece. I'm was still gonna, that was literally going to sink my battleship. And the, I was like, it's no. the presence of mind that you had to be able to go. Okay, we got we got to we got to solve this problem. It's, the toilet won't. Right. Did you try to fix the toilet? Oh no, I'm eight. What am I, a plumber? I'm eight years old at the time. You fished it. I would have, I mean, I knew how, how a toilet worked. I would have, like, lifted up and was like, why is there no water? I was eight. I didn't understand the, the everything. But you understood how to pull it out, wrap it up, and throw it out the window. Well, I mean, that doesn't take a <sighs> genius. Clearly. Throw it away. <laughs> Clearly. <clears throat> wow. I see the blinking white light. <clears throat> now I do. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I've been, uh, things got sidetracked here. With I shared something very... Vulnerable. Vulnerable. But me and Mr. Hanky. Do you Howdy ho! Mr. Hanky? Howdy ho! Do you have a problem, like, have you ever had a problem, like, Garth Brooks, I don't poop in public places. <laughs> uh, you... I certainly don't prefer it. Hey, I didn't mean to cause a big scene. Do, but have you always been the person like, I don't care. Like, I know, I know people that are like, hey, I have no problem. I will just bam, wherever, uh, doesn't doesn't matter. I have, I have a friend who, on, he used to run by the beach, and he was like, there was always this one spot where, as he would call it. Where do I go? Do I go left here, or do I hit that Go guy? straight. He would do a, quote, orangutan hang. Whoa, I don't so even know he what he would hang is. on and then lean over so that he was, it was like a little cliff that he would run by, and so he would do a little hang and just, to the earth below. And really? People take a not here. You can go that way, but you can go your own way. They have a lot of musical clips happening. Go your own way. You can go your own way. Just keep going forward a little bit. Oh my god, the second spam. Whew. Oh, look, there's three guys. Get to the lockup. How do I get there? Uh, Tell me where to go. You want to go to the left, right here. See the black uh, little, like, big thing on your mini that's going to leave you there, so... Oh, you got the cops. You got the cops on you, boy. You got to lose them cops. Left. Oh. I didn't get my driver's license until I was 18. Really? Because, uh-oh. Boosh! Um, I got three smoky chunks of tail. My parents were out of town, 
and I was staying by myself. I guess my sister was in college, uh, so it was just me, which is really weird. I was like 15, staying by myself. Would you, would you let Jared stay by himself at the house? At 15? Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. He was way more responsible <clears throat> than I am. Was. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. let you stay at my house now. Even now. A buddy of mine was like, oh, I forgot something at school, and I was like, I'll take you for no reason. I was like, I can drive. Couldn't. My friend was actually older than me, and you need to turn to the right, and as soon as you can get away from there, just get away from the cops, because the lockup is right behind you to the left. If you can get in there because you're all kind of jacked up. Keep going, you have a minute 54. I think Where am I going? It's right there in front of you. I can't see it. Uh, it's the blinking thing with the shadow, and you can't take one more hit. Where is there like a, where is it? I, I can't see any blinking shadows. It's right in front of you. To the left, just go to the arrow, and just don't, son of a, low, you can't do it with the, uh. <laughs> That was fun though. Super fun, I right? enjoyed uh, being chased by cops. So before you start again. No repercussions. So get this. Speaking of repercussions, so I get my, my friend and I get into our friend our, our car was like a ninety one uh, celebrity Chevy celebrity or whatever, and we crank the radio. It's like a five minute drive. Uh, as we're on our way to the school, our pastor's wife. I'm going this way. She's going this way, and I look and I clock her, and I figure you might as well just own it, so maybe she won't think anything is weird. And a miss. So I look at her and I just wave. And this is the face that she gives me. <laughs> and she passes me by. Like it's like just moves in slow motion. I'm like, wave, and she's like, and she passes by. Gets my friend, drop him off, come back home. And then later that night, like within a few hours, I get a call. My parents call me, I think they were on a cruise ship. Oh. And they call me from the cruise ship and like, what the hell were you thinking? Ha couldn't stay by myself. Had to go to, it was like my pastor's wife narked on me, bro. Had to go stay with my youth pastor. Oh. And my punishment was like, you will not be getting your driver's license at 16. That was your punishment? I can, and I didn't get it until oh. I was 18 years old. Which is why, if you've watched previous episodes, I always talk about how my friend Stephen Kirkenbauer always drove me around. Because I didn't but have my driver's license. two years? It's almost three. Because it was 15, two and a half years. And that was because of, that was the punishment? That was the or punishment. You, you couldn't get your... Bro, that's... Seriously? That's way too harsh. <laughs> right? That's way too harsh. Yeah, couldn't get my driver's license. Until I was that's 18. way too harsh. My, yeah. I, you know, because I got... My, you know, one's been driving. He has his license to drive. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Go. There's nothing to worry about! <laughs> My brother, seven years older than me, one time he was watching me. So he was probably 15, I'm eight. And uh, there was a place called Tommy's Spa where I grew up. And that's where we get candy. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Tommy's Spa. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, you want to go to the back. You, hey, listen, come get your candy in front and never go to the back. You don't want to understand what happens. This, this is the kind of thing where the guy, the guy's still selling egg creams. <laughs> <laughs> go, hey, we got seltzer water, we got some egg creams. What do you want? I don't know what an egg cream is. Anyway, he, uh, but my brother said, he was watching me. My parents went out for dinner or whatever. And uh, he said, let's go, want to go get some, some penny candy. At the, the, and there was like some penny candy, and you, you'd go and it had different jars. You'd That's when candy. candy only cost one penny. That's right. It did. It seriously did. You could get like five for a nickel, even. Yeah, do the math. So, uh, but he said, we'll go down there and get some candy. I'm like, all right, but it's a long walk. And he's like, no, 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 we'll drive. I'm like, well, you can't drive. You're not supposed to drive. He said, I'm fine. We'll take the back streets. So you could take the back roads, you know, just through your neighborhood. So I said, oh, okay. And he pulled out, we went, got there, and I'm like, good job, you know, now we're having a good time. Got the candy, and he start, pulls out, and he says, he pulls out on the main street. And I start freaking out, like, you're gonna get in trouble. He's like, no, no, and he's uh -huh. laughing the whole time. I'm like, no, he can't do it, just be careful. And I didn't know him, eight, and he got us home fine. And he was like, see, I told you. And he turned in, we had kind of this long driveway down, because we lived next to an apartment building, and we shared a, the, the, the parking lot. We pulled it, and my parents had gotten home. Oops. And he went from, ha, ah, he said, I told you, you little shit. We could, oh, no. And he looks at me, grabs my shirt. He's like, 
you got sick. I'm like, what? He goes, we had to go to the hospital and you got sick. I'm like, I get And I started, I think, crying and freaking out. And my parents, I think my dad and mom met him as he was got out of the car. Hey, he got sick. And they were like, no, nah, they didn't buy it at all. Eight was a very big year for you. You had your first like big driving experience. You had a... <laughs> In more ways than one. You had a toilet experience that we don't like to talk about. Yeah, and I was uh, molested by a uh, was golden the, retriever. Was that the same year? It was probably eight. Wow. That's eight why... Was a very formative year. And for now, bringing it back around, that's why nine is <laughs> a very good number. <laughs> We're no longer eight. You see what we did there? Because you're struggling for a little bit, um, Drew has been kind enough to provide us with some of our favorite little treats uh, in the form of cheats. Oh, I like those. One of them is antipodian, which is... Antipodian? Inverted screen? Is that Latin or something? Is Drew a learned man? <laughs> have we been, have we been uh, misunderestimating him this entire time? Antipodian. No, no we haven't. De pull up the little description of what antipodian means. Yeah, what did, what, I'd spell that, what is it? A-N-T-I-P-O-D-E-N, antipodian. Podium. I don't think I know it's- what anti means. It's not your uncle, it's your- My anti. <laughs> Ant, a, an antipodian is someone from Australia or New Zealand? It's like the marsupials. Like they, they don't have mammals, they have a marsupial, so you're like, you're not a human, you're an antipodian. <laughs> That's not We just correct. spent two weeks with antipodians. I think you'd like this one. There's invincibility. I do like that. You do like that. No police. That's probably good for Or me. as the great NWA put it. Yo, Dre, what up? I got something to say. Fuck the police. Miniature cars, which could be cute. Ooh, like Matchbox or Hot Wheels. Like Chibi, we talked about this, you were you were Hot Wheels, right? Ah, uh, like, you know what you I was Matchbox. actually- Matchbox. Matchbox with a die cast metal. My, you know what, my brother, like, again back to him, it, he was, uh, he had Matchbox, and they were awesome because they, they were metal. They, they were actually die-cast metal. Yeah, the Hot Wheels were the cheap ones. Not not disparaging so. them, I just think that they were a little bit less expensive. But they were the first ones to do like monster ones. Like the Matchbox were like the replicas, and Hot Wheels were like Dragon Trans Am vehicle with wheels, <laughs> or whatever. With wheels. Stilts. You can be on stilts. This is like the worst cheat could ever. Rear wheel steering. What? Like you could be rear wheel steering? Oh, so you would be driving with your rear wheels as opposed to your front Oh wheels. my god, I'm right there. Is that that would be a cheat code. That's more like an obstacle. Get there. Oh! I was, I was, uh, I was 50 yards away. Uh, including Baby Driver, genius. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright, mm -hmm. one of the greatest editors of our day. Uh, the transporter. Yeah, all right. Let's talk about the transporter. That's all we need to talk about That's that. It. That's it. The Italian job, either Michael Caine or Mark Wahlberg. With I was also up for that one. The Mini Coopers? Huh? Oh, he was in that as well. Yeah, two yeah. driving movies. Yeah. Fast and Furious we mentioned. The Getaway, which we talked about. Um, yeah. Do you remember the one with, uh, who was the one with Charlie Sheen where they had the love scene while they're driving down the car? Charlie, Charlie Sheen and Erica Eleniak? Is that right? No. No, 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 no. What was her name? The blonde. She was yeah. really pretty. She was, she was, she was hot for a second. Nic not, not, I don't mean looks. I mean, her career was really hot for a she second. She was the one from, wasn't it the chick from, uh, Christy, Christy Swanson. That's Buffy. right. That's what it was. Do you remember oh. that? They had the love scene? Yes. Yes. Um, and then we talked about the French Connection. Bullet. How can we not talk French about French Connection? Bullet? Gene Hackman, one of the greatest uh, You didn't of put in Ronan, though. I think Ronan absolutely need to be. But the one that I'm really proud of this guy, Drew. Drew found one? Drewford J. Will, J. Aloysius III. Drewford. J. I didn't know it was called The Hire. BMW, the, the BMW films? Yeah. That was, each one was directed, one was done by like uh, oh, Tony right. Scott, one was done by John Woo. Um, and it was Clive Owen, before he was anybody, what played this driver for hire, and all these people used him for like, like uh, Don Cheadle was in one, and there was these all these shorts, but they were like huge production. So I'm on an airplane. I don't think I've ever seen that. They're, if you can find them anywhere, early days of the internet, 
Um, I remember what you're talking about. These things lived exclusively online and they would come out like once a month uh, or, or once every two weeks or something. And you had to go to your computer before there was YouTube, before there was anything, and you had to go to BMW.com to watch this movie or watch these, these small little movies. So one time I'm, I'm flying back from somewhere, back to LA and I'm on the uh, airplane with this guy and somehow randomly, he was talking about how I think he was in marketing. I was like, one of the best marketing campaigns ever was this thing that BMW did. And he kind of looks at me and goes, seriously? I'm like, yeah, I don't know if you remember it or not, but it, it came out like 2003. And he was like, you know, it was actually uh, 2002. And he corrected me on the year. He was like, that was my campaign. I went, what? Guy was in. Really? Guy was at the advertising agency for BMW. And the way that they rolled out their product was this year they were coming out with the new 5 Series. This year they're coming out with the new 7 Series. This year they're coming out with the new 3 Series. And they just happened to hit a year where the previous year they had done something big with James Bond. And this year they didn't have anything. So, like, what do they do? It's like, let's just showcase how great BMW is as a brand. As opposed to this specific model, let's just talk about BMW. Uh. And they took their entire marketing budget and put it towards making these like five films. Found a no, no, no name actor, Clive Owen, which at the time in, in the UK was a little bit bigger, but no one knew who he was. Um, and then they surrounded him with, they had one with Gary Oldman, where Gary Oldman plays the devil. Um, and they got James Brown in that one. Um, I mean, it was, if you can find these things, Maybe Drew can find a clip or, or, or YouTube link, you could find it. They are absolutely breathtakingly done well. They're so compelling. I think Clive Owen would have been a great Bond. Uh, maybe he still could be, I don't know. But I didn't, I wasn't sure if the guy was like, you know, just having fun with me or whatever. And then he goes, give me your address, man. Because I couldn't find him anywhere. So I'll send you a DVD. And sure enough, um, when he got back in, he, I, two no weeks kidding. later, he sent me a DVD of the, uh, the, of, all the of, of, of all of them. Do you still have it? Somewhere I have them. I need you to find that. You would love them. I'm not good Man. with the whole interwebs. I like DVD. I love that we did that. We got kind of, we played about as much of this as we did the other driving game. Maybe we should do driving games. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for being here on Retro Replay. Brought to you by BMW, apparently. Apparently. Send us one. Um, and while we wait for that wish to come true, uh, we ask you, what do we play next? Welcome to the department. Now, I don't suppose you know that uh, you, you, you're coming in here to work for you alongside your mother, who I work with. She's a beautiful woman. She used to, she used to, she used to be the driver. And then she'd reach over, she'd grab it one hand, and the other hand was driving me. You know what I'm saying? Because he was driving me. She's beautiful. Bring me to tears sometimes. Sometimes what a mess on the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>